Nine months ago, Edgar Costa left his native Spain to see Brazil. And when he was offered a job as a TV producer, he didn't think twice about staying. He bought a house, not in the famous and expensive beachfront part of Rio de Janeiro, but in Vigigal, a slum where once even the police dared not tread. I needed a place. I knew about Vigigal. It's a, it's a favela near the, uh, the, the main beaches. It's what Rio looks like. It's not absolute comfort, but it's changing and it's a life. That's what made me decide to be here. And of course, the main reason was the price. Down the street, a hostel for tourists is doing a brisk trade, as more and more foreigners on a low budget are attracted to this once forbidden territory, made accessible over the last three years since the police began taking control. Six years ago when I was here, I had to ask for authorization from the local drug lord, and I always knew that there were people pointing guns at me from the rooftops. Now anybody can come in here, even foreigners, and mix with the locals. With the favelas now safer, foreigners, especially Europeans, are moving in, attracted by the five-star view at a budget price. Here in Catagalo, Argentine Alfonso Galindez is rushing to finish a restaurant bar before Christmas, part of an investment with Portuguese and Brazilian partners that will also include a hotel. Alternative glam. I would call this alternative glam. People want to come in contact with something different. What is more interesting, to go to a hotel that looks like any other in the world, or to go home and say that you ate and slept in a favela? The neighbors also seem pleased. It's marvelous. It's improving our neighborhood and countering some of the negative image that we had. But it's not without a price. More peaceful favelas make for more expensive real estate. And with foreigners pouring in, Many predict the gentrification of these favelas will drive out the original residents. These people are offered a lot of money. Well, for them, it's a lot of money. So some of them take the money and leave and go to live much further. So this is probably going to change the composition of people who live in the favelas in the long term. Clearly, this phenomena, along with all the improvements for the upcoming World Cup and the 2016 Olympics, will profoundly impact the city. The hope is that it will do so for the better. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.